Michael Jordan's retirement in 93 shocked the world more than a buzzer beater in a Game 7 final. Why would the king of basketball suddenly hang up his sneakers? Today, we're diving into the story that left fans puzzled and the sports world turned upside down. Was it the exhaustion, the personal challenges, or something more? We'll explore each twist and turn of MJ's unexpected decision. If you're ready for a journey into one of the most intriguing chapters in sports history, you're in the right place. And hey, if uncovering the secrets behind sports legends is your jam, smash that subscribe button and join us for more epic stories. Fatigue. Let's talk about Michael Jordan's fatigue, and I'm not just talking about needing a good night's sleep. This guy's career was a non-stop, high-intensity marathon. Picture this. From 1981, at the University of North Carolina, Jordan wasn't just playing basketball. He was living and breathing it. He led his college team to a national championship, a massive deal on its own. Then, bam! He's the third pick in the 1984 NBA draft. Imagine the pressure. In his rookie season, MJ was like a storm, taking the league by surprise. Then, a major setback in his second season, a broken foot. Most would slow down, but not Jordan. He came back with a vengeance, leading the Bulls to an incredible comeback against the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. And those battles with the Detroit Pistons? They were brutal. Imagine going head-to-head -head with a team nicknamed the Bad Boys of Basketball. It was a physical and mental grind year after year. Then... Add his appearances in the Olympics 1984 and the famous Dream Team in 1992, bringing home gold both times. By the time the Bulls clinched their first three-peat, Jordan had been going non-stop for over a decade at the highest level of the sport. Loss of motivation. Imagine you're playing a video game and you've beaten every level. That's kind of what happened to Jordan. After the Bulls conquered the Detroit Pistons, who had been their major roadblock, what was left? Jordan and his superstar team, including Scottie Pippen and Horace Grant, were just dominating. The Bulls set a franchise record with 61 wins in the 1990-91 season. They steamrolled through the playoffs, beating teams like the New York Knicks and the Philadelphia 76ers, and when they faced off against Magic Johnson's Lakers in the finals, they clinched their first championship with a commanding four, one series win. The next, two seasons were more of the same. The Bulls were unstoppable, clinching two more championships. Jordan was at the top of his game, scoring champ three years in a row, back-to-back -back MVPs, and finals MVP all three times. He had done it all, reached every peak. Shadow of Gambling, Michael Jordan's Gambling. Now that's a topic that gets people talking. Jordan wasn't just playing basketball, he was also playing the odds, be it in cards, golf, or even tossing coins. He was known for his competitive nature, and that extended beyond the basketball court. But when you're as famous as MJ, everything you do gets magnified. Stories started making the rounds about his gambling habits, there were rumors of late nights at casinos, even during critical times of the season. This wasn't just a small hobby. It was something that caught the attention of fans and the media alike. Then came the real zinger. Some folks started whispering that maybe, just maybe, his retirement was a bit more than just a personal decision. Could it have been a quiet way for the NBA to deal with the bad press around their biggest star? It's like a plot from a sports movie. The best player in the league a gambling controversy, and a sudden retirement. Death of his father. Imagine reaching the pinnacle of your career, and then, out of nowhere, tragedy strikes. That's what happened to Michael Jordan in 1993. His dad, James Jordan, who was more than just a father, but his mentor and biggest cheerleader, was tragically killed. This was a guy who had been by Michael's side since day one, always pushing him, always believing in him. His death wasn't just a headline, it was a personal earthquake for Jordan. James was shot in his car, a senseless act that left everyone stunned. For Michael, 
it hit home in the deepest way possible. His dad had always dreamed of him being a baseball player. So, in a heartfelt tribute, Michael stepped away from the basketball court and onto the baseball diamond. People were confused, asking, why baseball? But for Jordan, it was about fulfilling a promise, a son's way of honoring his father's memory. Baseball. Now let's talk about MJ's time in baseball. Picture the best basketball player in the world trading his sneakers for cleats. That's exactly what Michael did, joining the Birmingham Barons, a minor league baseball team. But let's be real. Basketball was his thing, not baseball. Jordan's baseball stats weren't exactly Hall of Fame material. He played 127 games had a batting average of just .202 and only hit three home runs. It was clear that his talent on the basketball court didn't quite translate to the baseball field. But give the guy credit for trying something new. It's not every day you see a superstar step so far out of their comfort zone. Absence. Imagine the NBA without its brightest star. That's what happened when Michael Jordan left. Suddenly, the whole league felt different. Teams like the Portland Trailblazers, New York Knicks, and others saw a glimmer of hope. The throne was empty, and everyone wanted a shot at it. The Houston Rockets, led by Hakeem Olajuwon, really stepped up. They seized the opportunity and won back-to-back -back championships. But even with all the excitement, there was a Michael Jordan-shaped hole in the league. Games were still played. Shots were still made, but something was missing. It was like watching a blockbuster movie without the main actor. Fans and players alike felt it. The intensity, the thrill that MJ brought to the court was gone. The NBA was still the NBA, but it lacked the magic that only Jordan could bring. His absence showed just how much of an impact one player could have on the entire sport. Return now, this is where things get exciting again. Michael Jordan, after his stint in baseball, realized something important. Basketball was his true calling. The competitive fire inside him hadn't burned out. It was still blazing. So on March 18th, 1995, the sports world got the news it had been waiting for. MJ was back. Jordan's return to the NBA wasn't just a comeback. It was a seismic event. Imagine the buzz, the anticipation. It was like the return of a superhero. He wasn't just coming back to play. He was coming back to reclaim his throne, to show the world that he still had it. And boy, did he deliver. Jordan's comeback was more than just a few more games or another season. It was a statement. He was ready to dominate again, to inspire millions, and to write more chapters in his legendary career. The NBA lit up again with his presence, and fans around the world celebrated. Michael Jordan, the comeback king, had returned, and basketball was all the better for it. And that's the whirlwind story of Michael Jordan's first retirement. MJ's journey was anything but ordinary. What do you think was the biggest factor in his decision to step away? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into sports legends.